All right, we're gonna do the tabs now, and I had started doing them and I made a mistake. So I reprinted this and made the envelope and it is now four and a quarter wide instead of four and a half. So that's nice and even. So that part was good. I, I hate wasting the paper, but it is what it is. So we are got, we've got our tabs and I might have to make more since I made a mistake with the three. But, so we're gonna start with three on this side, right? But we need to take into account this. This is my smallest envelope, okay? The next smallest is this one. And we have to take that into account when we're making our journal. And so we're going to be wanting to glue on this side, but taking into account this. So let's bring this up, let's put these to the side and we're gonna need three of our canvas tabs here. Okay, and all I want to do is make sure that I am going to fit lengthwise the three tabs on here. So I'm going to grab my glue and center that ish. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put one near the top here. Okay. And I'm trying to think, I want to put it so that there's a, there's enough for a little gap in the middle, just a little one. Give that a good press. Okay, and I want that to have a little room underneath. And that'll do that, right? Okay, and then there'll be a tiny gap. Yeah, I like that, all right. And then let me do the bottom one next, I think. And then I can center the last one better ish. Might want to pull that that way a little bit. Okay, I think that's solid size wise, spacing wise. Okay, and then the third one. This is where I want to keep it lined up nice and as even as possible, but not perfect. I'm just, I'm not a perfectionist. I've said that in many of my videos. Okay. Right about there. All right, so that will be our first set. And off to the side, I have a little piece of paper that I wrote, a three and a two on, just so I can check it off in between each one because I, Sometimes I might have to pause or go to the side, and I don't want to make a mistake. All right. Okay. I think this canvas will be nice. One of the other things was, when I was mentioning before about the tabs, since I'm going to sew into some of them, I wanted to make sure that they were long enough and that it could be kind of uniform. So that's why I wanted to make sure they were an inch long. And also, I don't know if you can see on here, but... Like it was starting to, let's see if I can find the one it was fraying on. I think it was this one and I tried to put glue, but that's all right. You know, you live and you learn. All right, so this is going to get flipped over and that one was three. So the next one's going to be two. So the two is going to go on the front here. And then all I want to do for this one is make sure I go in between the three, right? All right, so. And I want to keep, you're going to see it throughout the book, right? Back and forth. So you want it to look nice they're they're gonna that's see so you want that to match up and to look good in between all right so i'm gonna put my glue on tweeners and the canvas can hold a little more glue okay And I like that you can't see the glue very well through the canvas, that's nice. And I'm just kind of ishing, making sure that it's lined up ish. Okay, so that's three and a two, checking off my two. All right, so then what happens is you're gonna flip, okay? And you wanna make sure there's a little space between the three and the two. Okay, right here. 
All right, and then it's pretty lined up and you'll have a tiny bit of time to, tiny bit of time to adjust. I think that's pretty solid, okay. Uh, so we're doing the three. We're gonna we're gonna glue on the three from the front. One, two, three. And again, it's not a tutorial. This is just a craft with me because I am so new to this. This part, just making a tab journal. That is. Once we get to the ephemera and stuff, that is my jam. And making the envelopes, of course, that's that's definitely my jam. Okay. All right, so there you go. So you see you have that, and then if you need to adjust it, if it wasn't very even. Nope, nice, decent, good. Okay, so we're on to the next one. So we did a two last, so now we're going to do a three. So we're going to grab our next envelope, which is this one in line. And we're going to put three tabs on this one and try to line them up. So let's grab three. Okay. And all I'm doing for this is just putting the glue where I think I need the glue first. And you can add more glue after again, like I said before. Just keep it pretty lined up. Okay, so that, I don't want to get that high up there. One of the, you know, I think I'm going to get a piece of um, felt in a minute. It's easier to work on. Okay, there we go. So now we can add our three. Making sure that we don't, yep, hinder our other two. And that we're fairly lined up still, right? Add a little more glue under here. Okay. And I'm gonna grab that. See if it helps at all. I usually I'd have to pin it underneath, but or pin it to my mat, but we'll see. It'll be slightly less moving. The felt might move, but these won't move as easy. So okay, so that was a three. And I'm gonna move my pin as well so I don't lose it. Okay, so we're going to flip that over and we're going to, let's see, that's one, two, three. Okay, so this one's still going to go normal and in between the next two, we're going to have a spot for journaling. So let's make sure that looks decent. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the two because that's on the one before it. It's easier the second time through. The first time through, I was a mess, but now I'm getting it. Of course, if I don't do it again for a long time, I'll be a mess again, I'm sure, but that's all right. Okay, so that's two. I'm sorry. Last one was three. The next one's gonna be two. And I'm going to leave more space. So here's what we've got. We got that, 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 that. Okay, so I think that, well, you know what? Um, yeah, you know what? I think that I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I'm gonna put the rest together and then I'm gonna come back and sew in the signatures with you guys, okay? All right. All right. So I am done putting on the tabs. I used 23 tabs and this is how it came out. Here is the spine. I think that came out lovely. And in comparison to my first one, there's my first one. I think my second one came out way better. I love the canvas. It's fantastic. I love using card for the envelopes. Okay. So there we go. So now we have to sew in our signatures and it would help if I actually grabbed the signatures. I grabbed everything else I needed. All right, so I think there are eight pages in each signature, 
this part gets a little bit tougher, but I found that, like, compared to some of the other stuff, I found this a little bit easier. So, right there, that's the first signature. So, I'm gonna need some clippies. Let's just get some paper clips. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that all my pages are how I want them to be lined up. So, okay. Good. That's fine. I don't know if I want. I think I gotta go more toward the bottom or top with that one. Okay. That's fine. Okay, that's good. So then, you know what? I think I'm gonna need a big monster one for this because of my differing page sizes. And that's fine. Okay. I think I want. I really want that lined up right there. Okay. And then I want one more, so I think I can attach it to the book better. All right. So this is going to get sewn into the middle here, here, and here. And it's a little bit tricky, but it can be done. So I am going to attach that to that side right there, okay? Can I get it on that? If I have another big clip, which I think I do have a total of four of these that I saved for just such occasions. Okay. Now I am using a waxed linen thread. Use whatever you feel comfortable with. And I am using a pointy needle because I'm going through canvas. I know some people like to use a non-pointy needle when they're doing their journal sewing because they don't want to poke themselves, which I completely understand because I've done on more than one occasion. So you got to find where your spine is for these ones. And I can see my pages are right here. So I'm actually going to go and poke from this side to start to find my first one. So there it is. Okay, and then I'm going to go back around. You know what, I'm going to just move this now because it's being a hindrance. And I'm going to go there, okay? And hopefully go right back through with it. Okay, it came, perfect. It probably went a little higher than I'd like to right there, but it is what it is. I guess that's one of my favorite sayings, huh? And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to go back. Sorry, there's a lot of moving with this part for me. Around. I don't want to go too high up. I want to try to catch the center of my spine right there. And let's hope I did it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Then we're just going to pull that through. And we're going to tie it off. I like the wax linen thread too because it holds a little bit better. And... Um, you know, I'm going to cut this so that I can make it tight. There we go. And when I pull it tight, it grabs together a little bit better. And sorry for my fingers being a little messy. It was all the glue. Okay. So there's one, and I will cut these strings down lower. And then I think I'm going to go for the bottom one next. And then I'll go to the center. Okay, so there's our pages right there. And then I'm gonna poke a hole. And I'm gonna go down a little further. Trying to get my center of my page. Okay, and then coming back around. Back through so that I can sew it. There we go, not bad. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing. This time it gets to stay through, and I'm gonna go like about there. Okay, there we go. And I did not catch the middle that time. That's a bummer. Okay, let's put it back out. Oh boy, I'm stuck in between something. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the needle off and pull my thread. There we go. And I'm going to put my needle back on.
I'm just trying to thread my needle back. Okay. All right, let's find our spot again. So we are right here. Would this be easier going this way, I think? I don't know. Where is our back? That's our back. Okay. There we go. That's probably a little bit easier. That's where I poked it the first time. So that's a little off, so I'm going to try to trace this as much as I can. It's hard to film and do this part for me. Let's see. Oh, same spot. Let's go over that way. Is that better? A little bit, but not all the way. Good enough. the middle cut that so it doesn't get in my way and then let's do the middle okay uh, let's see here we are I think I'm do that no, I don't think I need either of those now because I've got the first two done what am I doing here oh no did I make a ubu I made a huge ubu. Were you guys yelling at me? Not a big deal, though. We can do that. That. And tie it again. No big deal. Okay. Let's go for part three. The middle. And then I will do the other two off camera because I think it will, you guys will have gotten the idea on this part. Okay. Nice, that's a good catch right there. See if I can repeat. Poke and hope, right? Poke and hope. Yes. Yay. That's pretty solid. Okay. Doesn't matter which side comes through. I'm going to go ahead and pull my needle off and go ahead and tighten that. You guys can see that can be a little persnickety. Not a big deal, though. Okay. So we have our journal and then envelope, envelope, and then our first signature sewn in. Okay. That looks lovely. Oh, my goodness. I love that. And I might cut these strings a little bit shorter. We'll see. I want to leave them on for now in case I need them. And then I'll go ahead and sew in the other two signatures and come back and show you guys a flip through of that with everything sewn in. All right, be back. Okay, let's just do a quick flip through of what we have done. Here is the spine and how that looks. And so we have one, two, three of the envelopes and our first signature. All right. And when you get to the middle, if you don't like how this looks, you could always 
change that to seal it up together in some way if you wanted to. You know, you can cut these off, just make it another envelope, whatever you like. Okay, second part of that. And then we have our next envelope. We have one, two, and then our next signature. Okay. I do like how this tab journal looks. I like how much space it gives you. I feel like you can make a lot of ephemera to put in this, put a lot of pictures, obviously journal. And again, very easy to seal if you want to, if you don't like how the holes look or the string looks. Okay. Gotta get me some more vellum. I'm almost out of vellum. Okay. And then our next envelope. Okay, and then our last signature. What I like about uh, printing digitals too is like the saturation on this was really light, so I added a little bit of saturation. So I increased the saturation by one or two and then I, it got a nice deep rich color. Okay, and that opens like that. Okay. And there we go. Center of our signature. I know some people don't love having all this wrinkle, but I love it. I think it looks great. Okay. And then our last couple of, no, three last three envelopes. And that is it. So next I will work on ephemera and I'll probably do some on and off camera like I did with this. And then last will probably be the cover and putting it together. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.